Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Street Fighter V Championship Edition this time. Well, this episode of Street Fighter V is going to be a little bit different. You know, I kind of tend to experiment with the Street Fighter video formulas. Uh, sometimes I do live videos, sometimes edited content. Right now I'm on the edited content variety. Uh, here's the thing, I've been thinking uh, normally, I do play a lot of this game, and I do have some good and bad games. Oftentimes, when I live record, I tend to have shitty games. It's just, like, my luck. Uh, so I thought, since Street Fighter V has such a convenient replay option, why don't I go ahead and make these kind of post-commentated compilation videos where, you know, the goalie is... Uh, me trying to get better at the game. I've been trying to rank up quite a bit. Uh, I've been losing a lot, as I mentioned in the previous video. I've been in kind of a character crisis. Right now, I've decided to stick with Birdie, mainly, until I figure someone out. I'm looking at Ed. Uh, Ed is a fun character. But Birdie Birdie's actually pretty okay. While that was going on, I was just doing my little intro, I kind of fucked up this Kage. Uh, here's the deal. I felt so sorry for this guy because, as it turns out, he was from Japan. And I have no idea why the game decided to match me against a Japanese player, but yeah, uh, the, la the lag was definitely in my favor or, or the rollback, you know. That's one of the issues with Street Fighter V's online, really. Uh, that the rollback tends to... Yeah, I screwed that up. Tends to heavily, heavily favor one side over the other. And it basically is kind of a lottery on which side it favors. Uh, so yeah, I felt sorry for that guy because I've been on the receiving end of situations like that. Uh, speaking of situations like that, here's this Akuma who was... Also fucking laggy. Although, I mean, this is Street Fighter V, so complaining about laggy matches is... Uh, really... Kind of pointless, you know. I wonder if Capcom is ever gonna roll out a netcode fix. It clearly can be done, uh, so I'm curious as to what will happen. You know, they've surprised us before, and I feel like Capcom has been on... A better streak recently with how they've been doing even with their games and generally this game as well uh, because I gotta honestly say like aside from the netcode which is this game's biggest issue right now I think this game is genuinely in the best state it's ever been uh, I think championship edition has really done a lot to kind of revitalize this game legit, even towards the end of this game's lifespan, and, you know, genuinely, it is extremely fun to play. I've mentioned this in one of my streams, uh, we talked about a bit of Street Fighter V, and I mentioned that the reason this game is so much fun for me at this point is because everybody has kind of not OP, but everybody has cheap stuff. That's the better way to put it. Everybody has cheap stuff. And when everybody has cheap stuff, the game is just fun. I mean, just look at MKX, how that game was. And this game, I think, is not that extreme, but similar in the regards that, uh, you know, just like with what you have, you have a lot of interesting tools and kind of just a lot of exploitable things for many characters. Including Akuma, because man, that was a beating. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Birdie, of course, is a character, classic character that kind of has trouble dealing with uh, pressure. Because he has like very weak defensive tools. So Akuma tends to give me problems. Akuma actually has always given me problems. And this guy is actually very good. I... Genuinely, I don't know. He was in ranked, so I don't necessarily think he was. Uh, fuck, what do you call it? I always forget. Smurf. I don't, I don't think he was necessarily smurfing, which does happen a lot in casual matches. 
you usually don't find smurfs in ranked because they don't want to advance up. So I don't think he was a smurf, but he did have a level 57 Akuma. And he clearly had like every single confirm lockdown on point, which is something like, yeah, these kinds of combos, you know, like this type of stuff, being able to immediately confirm, know which combo to do when. You don't tend to see this in uh, like silver, super silver. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe he's just really good. Uh, so, yeah, that was not easy. Uh, this match was not easy. Uh, which I tend to, I try not to spoil anything. But yeah, Akuma, Kage, these types of characters, uh, I think they're the problematic ones for Birdie. Bison, Bison gives Birdie trouble because uh, of the pressure. But of course, this is not downplaying Birdie. Uh, he was probably one of the most nerfed characters. I should have confirmed into Super. He was one of the most nerfed characters, but... Overall, he's still okay. I think Birdie's always going to be in a good spot because he really is just, you know, a character that can, uh, you know, get away with spamming his uh, kind of really strong buttons and just, you know, kind of not keep out because he's not a zoner, but he can, like, really control the opponent. It's just don't get yourself into the corner with him because that's, like, death. Uh, yeah, so I did take a round, and I, like an idiot, put myself into the corner, and that was a terrible, terrible choice. I think I would have, I genuinely don't think I would have lost, fuck, I just gave it away. I don't think I would have lost if I uh, didn't put myself in the corner, because, you know, again, Akuma in corner with Birdie, yeah, that was also unfortunate. But you can see stuff like the rollback. Here it definitely favored him, the rollback, because yeah, this end of the end of this match was kind of hella janky. Uh, oh wait, fuck! I won this. I won against this guy. Damn. Well, I'm completely wrong. I am recording the voiceover for this the next day over, so bear with any inconsistencies. I do apologize, but hey, I won. Of course, the other side of Akuma is that he is incredibly weak in terms of HP. So, a couple of command grabs and you take like half his HP. So, there's that. Anyways, so this is going to be... I am going to continue this series because I think I like this format. Plus, again, as I said, if I play during the week, I can, you know, kind of collect the best matches or the worst matches depending and get away with. That was a nice grab. Uh, I can just put them in a video. Why did, I, why did I do heavy punch there? Yeah, this is... I got lucky with that grab. I thought he was gonna grab. That's why... That was supposed to be a tech. A preemptive tech, but... It actually worked out in my favor, but... Man, this character is... See, this that type of stuff. That type of stuff with the rollback. That's when you know... Oh, I missed the anti-air. That's when you know, like, shit is not going your way. And of course, he grabbed. Uh, so he took that round pretty convincingly. Actually, no, not that convincingly, but still. Not easy. Not easy, this Akuma matchup. Oh, that was unfortunate. He would have gotten hit if I... Uh, if the can hadn't hit. I will say, I didn't play Stellar. I did actually miss quite a few anti-air attempts and all that, so I cannot say that me losing this is entirely uh, ju on just like Akuma being a bad matchup. I screwed up, like that type of stuff, that was a big screw up. I got a command grab, I was hopeful here, I was like fuck yeah, I can do this, it's just a bitch ass Akuma. He's still, it's kind of weird that he's still the most... Well, is he the most popular? No, Ryu is still the most popular character online. But Akuma is an extremely close second, yeah. It's the thing, he had super as well. He just blasted me. Um, I think Akuma is still a close second because... Well, not because, which is weird because he did get a lot of nerfs. And, you know, people who play character for this supposed tier placement... 
Which this guy certainly isn't. This guy, he did look like a bona fide Akuma main. But there's a lot of players who play Akuma or any strong character just for the fact that they're strong. Like two seasons ago, everybody was playing Kami. Every second opponent was a goddamn Kami. Yeah, thanks for Mortal Kombat installed, yeah, while playing Street Fighter. I'll check out this update for Mortal Kombat. Apparently they did make a lot of changes. Actually, some of the most requested changes uh, on the patch list. One of them being uh, nerfing jump kicks. Like, jump kicks were such a massive issue in MK11. The other one being crushing blows, which were really annoying, so... I'm hopeful. I'll go back. I'll go back and check the game out because these were some of the changes that I wanted as well. So again, we're playing this Vega. Uh, I don't think I've ever met a non-laggy Vega in all the times I've been playing this game. Vega's like, I don't know, like you pick up Vega, like it comes with a two-point downgrade in your internet connection. So yeah, this guy it's kind of annoying. Like, look at that roll. It's like, this game is like a slideshow here. And that type of stuff is really difficult to deal with, with Vega. But this guy, you'll see a little bit, or like throughout the match, that this guy did not know how to deal with cross-ups. But, yeah, as you can see, like, shit like that, that, that was his weakness. I think he must have read somewhere that you're supposed to be super active with Vega. And he was trying to do that, but it wasn't working. Listen, you know, I'm not trying to, like, roast people or anybody's playstyle. I am fully aware that I suck at this game, but... You know. Actually, you know what? No. Fuck these trash-ass players. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. But I did rank up on his ass and I did leak him down, which was pretty satisfying. Doing that to an opponent who lags is just... Oh yeah, he was American, that's why. Yeah. See, normally, like a normal fighting game with a normal connection, it wouldn't be too big of a problem unless he's West Coast. I do live in Central Europe, so... That normally wouldn't be a problem, but this is Street Fighter V we're talking about. Like, sometimes, if I fight someone from, like, the next country over, uh, we're lucky to get a decent connection. Yeah, this is why Vega is annoying, uh, these types of Vegas. You can play Vega really, like, calculated. It is a viable playstyle. I've seen it. I think that guy, what's his name, Tourniquet, he's like rank... He's up there, he's in the single digit ranks, which is kind of insane. And he plays Vega. I think Vega, even Vega is okay now. Sure. Tears are still extremely applicable in this game, uh, of course, as with any fighting game, but I think right now, in its current state, everybody is viable. Is everybody tournament viable? Most likely not. I would say not everyone is, but in terms of like picking up a character and doing well online, taking online games, everybody is good. That I love that command. That command grab is my shit. Uh, yeah. So I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. You'll see. You'll see an ad game towards the end of this, which I where I lose horribly. But I don't know if Ed is the right character. See, the thing is, like, instinctively, I probably want a character that's got a different playstyle than uh, Birdie. I was thinking Falk initially, but Falk basically plays the same as Birdie, you know, just like pressing them long range buttons and hoping shit happens. She has a f like a fireball to compensate, but that's it. So I was like, you know what, let me pick someone who is a little bit different. So right now I'm on Ed, uh, who is pretty decent. But we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. This is the sad match. Uh, actually, I don't even know why I did this. I didn't even practice with Ed before starting. And I was like, you know what? Let's jump online. What could go wrong? 
What could go wrong? Yeah, that's what you do with Ed now. You mesh that punch button. Yeah, see that type of stuff? The boy did not warm his head up. Wait, that sounded that sounded like super wrong. Keep your head in your pants. Uh yeah. But he's got he's got this good kind of hit and run style gameplay. I I did play Ed before as well, so he's not like entirely unknown to me. He's just much stronger now. This guy he got me with that so many times and I was an idiot for getting hit by that. So yeah, he's got that. He's got that flicker pressure. Ed, I mean, it's negative two now, so technically you cannot press a button after it, but you have the psycho upper, which is a risky but viable mix-up. One thing I'm still trying to figure out is this V skill two. It looks way better than his V skill one for sure, but just gotta get used to it. These are like two highly buffed characters this season. Ryu and Ed. That was... that. Yeah, that legit was me missing a flicker attempt. Yes. Am I embarrassed? A little bit. Do I care? No. I love doing that though. Although, if I... See, that that's the kind of stuff... That's the reason why you need to warm up. Because I missed that combo. Because of not being warmed up. But yeah... The only question with Ed here is how quickly is it gonna get annoying to hear him say 1, 2, 3 over and over again. I think it's gonna get annoying very quickly. So, we'll see. God, that. God, that connection. This game, ha this game has good online, doesn't it? It has excellent online. Yeah, he guessed right on that. Fuck, man. Maybe this is the this is the reason why it's good that I'm post commentating this because it's like I don't even care. Not that I care while I am playing, but I also cannot say that it doesn't get annoying. You know that, uh, especially now that PC is out of the picture because of the mod. I play against PS4 only. Like shit. Yeah, that was me missing a combo. Probably like six out of ten connections I play are like this. Which is kind of ridiculous. And before people ask, yes, I did check if it's on my end. It's not on my end. Uh, I have everything set up correctly. I have fast internet, but literally, yeah, again, like, I gotta say, six, maybe even seven out of ten. Like, so many of these connections are bullshit in this game. Yeah, again, like, he's gotten hit me with that a lot of times, and I was an idiot for getting hit by that. Yeah. So that was an L. I'll admit it. That was an L. Uh, I really jumped between Silver and Super Silver in this episode, back and forth. But since then, because I did actually continue playing this guy, and I, bo I won both of my consecutive matches, which unfortunately we won't have time for. I will try to keep these episodes short, so yeah. Gonna be it for now. Peace out.